Today I'm going to show you how to use MathMatrix data conversion tools to convert your raw data files collected on thermal uh, mass spectrometers to MZXML and MJF files. Um, currently, the tool supports uh, LCQ, LTQ, LTQ Orbitrap, LTQFT mass spectrometers. In order to use the tool, you have to download the tool first. It is at searcherrc.uic.edu. This is the official um, mass matrix database search website at UIC. And after you lo after you go to the website, you click download. And the third one is the data conversion tools. And you click on it, save it to your local desktop, and then locate the program. Click on it and install the program to your own computer. Click Next and um, just install it. You don't have to change anything. And uh, click Finish and it will show you the view readme file. Basically it does not contain anything for now yet. And uh, after the installation there will be three icons appearing on your desktop. The first one is MZXML to MGF. The second one is RAW to MZXML a third one is raw to MZXML and MGF. The way the tool converts your raw data file is that it will convert raw data file first to MZXML. And uh, if, if you want MGF files, it will convert those MZXML files to MGF. So there are two options if you have raw data files. The first option is that you only want the MZXML files, so then you can use this program to convert your raw data files to, M to MZXML files. And the second option is this option. You can convert your raw data files to both MZXML and MGF. But if you choose the first option and later on you decide you want the MGF files, then you can use this program to convert the MZXML files to MGF files. Then you don't have to go through the raw to MZXML to N MGF again because you already have the MZXML files. Okay, now we have the program installed. I'm going to demonstrate how to use the program. It is very easy, extremely easy to use the program. Um, I'm gonna, um, in order to use the program, you can what you can do is that you select all the raw data files that you want to convert. For example, I want I chose I chose uh, five of them, and then you grab all the data files to the program icon on your desktop. In order to grab them, you have to click the left uh, mouse key and hold on it and move the mouse key mouse browser a uh, cursor to the program until the program is highlighted. Then you release the left key and then for the first time you use the mass uh, with this data conversion tools. It will require you to download a third party data uh, data conversion program which is ReadW and uh, then you need the uh, uh, internet connection to download that third party program third party program. After it's downloaded then it's ready to go and next time when you do the conversion it will not uh, it will not uh, uh, you don't you don't have to download that third party program anymore. And uh, the program will convert all the data files, raw data files you chose one by one. You can choose multiple of them, as many as you want, but um, uh, make sure that the number of routed files you cho choose is less than uh, uh, around 20, because if there's more than 20, then Windows will not support that many um, um, data files be processed by a program at the same time. So you may do that in a couple of times, so 20 at each time. So um, that's it. You just uh, wait for all the files to be converted. Right now it's converting the um, uh, fourth one it looks like. Almost done. So you can see that it's very easy. After one day's experiments you may have multiple raw data files. You just put them in the same folder and uh, grab all of them onto the icon. And that's it. The program icon. That's it. It will convert one by one for you. And uh, after the program is finished it's going to show you the status all the, of all those raw data files conversion to make sure that 
um, all the files you 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 selected are successfully converted to um, both mzxml and mdf files in, in this case because I used the uh, the third one third program which will convert which will convert all rather the files to both mzxml and mdf and uh, the usage of this raw to mzxml is the same you just grab those raw files and apple I just grab one for this case to the program and it will convert it for you and uh, let's wait until it is finished okay now it is finished and if you use this program it will only give you one mzxml files but later on if you want the mzf still then you can use the mzxml for example this mzxml you got this mzxml converted from the raw file by this program you can grab this mzxml to this program this program it converts mzxml to mzf that's why it's named as mzxml to mzf then it will convert that to mzf files and click ok now let's look at the final list of files so we have five f five raw data files in the folder and each of them now they have one mzxml and one mzf each of them so in total we have 10 files converted um, that's it. Thank you.